quick testimony about, about what happened on Wednesday, the 8th of February this week. I was helping a sister in Christ to move. This was the second day uh, that I was helping in the move and me and this sister, we were driving a highway and I had already had problems with the car. Um, I know that, it, you know, it, it, it was like shaking when I was driving about 85 kilometers or over uh, or faster um, and I had already noticed there was something wrong with the car and I didn't know exactly what the reason was. When I was driving around that, that, that speed uh, and we were about an hour away, uh, a little bit over an hour away from, from our destination and the car started to shake more than it used to be and and then it started to keep keep very loud noise louder and louder and I, then i started to say to sister okay now something is really wrong with this car something is breaking and i i think it's it's the tire i think it's the tire that's breaking and as we were driving um i noticed that there was a ramp uh that was leading out of the the highway and of course it's very dangerous to leave your car in the highway uh and stop there i was i was trying i was like god like i think i was praying in my head god help us to get out of this road help us to get to a safe place but i was staying calm all that time and and i think we drove about a one kilometer until we got up that ramp and then there was a roundabout on top of it and and we, right away when we got right next to the roundabout i stopped the car to a safe place and then we got out and as i had been suspecting front uh, wheel on the right side uh had broken i went to see with the sister and it was completely flat it was completely flat but the rim, uh, or what the metal thing is called, or, uh, that supports the actual t uh, rubber tire there, that had not, uh, it had not broken or anything. It was completely intact and that had supported the car all the way about that one kilometer that we were driving. I believe that was total miracle happening right there that it didn't break. Immediately when we noticed that the tire was had had uh, been gotten, gotten flat and um, broken and um, the sister in Christ decided to call the brother who was at, at the destination uh, in the apartment already doing the moving. She called him and this brother uh, straight away prayed that the Lord will send us help. Right after the call I straight away walked uh, right next to the road by the roundabout and I saw that there was a man coming with a car and I was like waving hey can I get help and he he came straight away straight away and and drove there uh, and came to help us and this maybe took like two minutes maybe <clears throat> we were maybe two maximum three minutes I don't know like very short time uh, stood there and we immediately received help and <laughs> no doubt about it that was God um, like the help came so quickly so quickly and um and this man said he was in he was not in a hurry he he's a pensioner and he can totally help us and then we were like oh thank you <laughs> thank you so much uh, and thanks to god i had a spare tire in my car and we got to take that out and and put it in there but um what was happening also there that they um uh what <laughs> one of the tire I don't know how, how, what do you call it, the tire iron in Finnish we call it, the one that you open the bolts from the from the tire. Uh, this man's, uh, the one he was using, broke, <laughs> broke, but thank, thanks to God, I had one and we were able to open them, they were really hard to open, uh, but finally we got them open and uh, and when, when the man started to... Um, I don't know. We, we, I don't know how do you say in English, but get the car higher with this. This I don't know what it's called. Called lifting it up. He said that there's there's a problem with the with the some kind of support thing in there that it has been already been somehow like breaking. Like like if he didn't know if it can support it. And then I started to pray out like loud that God help this car stay intact so that we get it lifted up. And then he said that uh, we tried to raise the car, car the wheel of the of the of the road uh, one time, but he said 
it didn't lift lift it up enough and then the man man said we need to find something to put underneath this this thing <laughs> i don't know sorry don't know what the name it is but lift it up from the ground we need to get a few centimeters to lift it up we need a little bit of something and we had nothing in the car and this man started to look around near the roundabout something that we could use and then he found um like this um like I don't know how what is it called like um like when there's a, some kind of road sign that can be moved around it, there was this the bottom part of that <laughs> road sign left by the roadside which was which was just a couple of centimeters thick about this thick I think maybe three centimeters thick and it was enough flat to to get it on uh, underneath that that thing that lifts the car up and it, we were like okay I think that is just enough let's let's do it and then we start to lift it up and what do you know the uh, tire uh, lifted off the of the road enough that it could be removed and the new one placed thanks to God God helped so much with such small <laughs> these small things that God knew that we needed help though <laughs> everything we needed was there uh, I don't know exactly how long it took uh, to replace maybe half an hour we got everything done I think and we were on on the road um, of course before we left I thanked the man and I, I introduced myself and he said his name his name was Kari so um, I got to ask him also if he wanted to receive a tract to read but he didn't want but I, I said to him God loves him Jesus loves him and that he he was obviously sent by God to help us and and uh, he left joyfully he was a man that God brought to help us so God obviously had decided <laughs> that these girls need to be able to, you know, continue the journey <laughs> and be able to do this move that day and as quick as possible so God can do anything. God can, you know, answer prayers so fast and uh, he doesn't leave his children into trouble, uh, you know. So I hope this was an encouraging uh, testimony uh, trust in God with all your heart uh, and he will bring the help that you need uh, he doesn't leave his children into trouble so God bless you all hope you have a nice evening